morning, ladies. When we left, I left you with an extremely difficult task. Uh, and it's going to continue to get a little bit difficult here before it gets easy. We are almost over the hump. Uh, getting these rocker arms and all this stuff together up here is very, very trying. So stick with it. So we have the left rocker arms on. I left you with the LT mark at the hash mark, the L at the 12 o'clock, the nub at 12 o'clock. So there's one thing I forgot to mention, and that is when rotating the rotor and getting that LT line to match up with that hash mark, it's very common for it to... Uh, it's very common to get it where it's got to be up here and and then you take your wrench off and it rolls this way or you take your wrench off and it rolls that way and there's nothing you can do about it it's okay what matters is that when you have this LT mark on the line and you're holding it with the wrench that when that is there, that the nub on the camshaft is where it needs to be, and the L on the cam sprocket is where it needs to be. If when you take your wrench off, this thing moves a little bit, it goes out, and this moves a tiny bit. See how it moves a little bit? As long as everything moves at the same time, it's okay. Once this is here, right there, and the nub is good, the L is good, then don't worry about it. So right now, that's pretty much where I left it, was the LT mark. where it needed to be. So we need to put the rocker arms on the right side. And you could, you know, in the, in the last video, I said something about doing this and it's the only way to do it. That's wrong. I, I was wrong about that. That's not the only way to do it. There's probably five ways to do this. I've tried as many ways as I can to do this whole timing procedure and get these rocker arms on here and the way that I'm showing you is the way that uh, that I have figured out it keeps things timed correctly a little bit easier if you were to take this off and the camshaft is floating around and you're putting the rocker arms in and you're putting the rocker arm shafts in this thing because the chain is kind of loose it falls out of timing and you have to do it over and over and over. And after doing this dozens of times, I came up with this way of doing it, of putting things together, taking things apart, and then putting other things together, taking other things apart, and kind of keeping tension on this. If we keep tension on this chain and on this sprocket and on the camshaft, if it's pulled up tight, you have far less of a chance of it going out of timing. So... As crazy as it seems, we're going to put the, uh, the left side cam cover on. You guys already replaced these two O-rings here on these uh, rocker shafts. We're going to put that on. We're going to take this off. We're going to put the rockers in here. We're going to put this back on. That's the, the short of it, but it's not as easy as that. So the left side cam end cover goes here. And remember this notch, it, it goes in the bottom right hand corner. So this notch goes down. Right now with it on the LT mark and the way it is, you can't get this thing on here very easily. In fact, you probably can't get it on at all. So there's a couple things we have to pay attention to. The rocker arm shafts, if you take a close look, 
the rocker arm shaft has a thick line for a screwdriver and then it's got this little tiny hash mark right there that's perpendicular to the screwdriver mark and the other one has the same sometimes that hash mark is difficult to see what we want to do is turn both of these so that the rocker arms are able to be shook so that they're loose and if you rotate if you rotate the cam or the rocker shaft and watch the rocker arm you'll notice that it rises and falls so i'm spinning this and watch that thing it's going up and now it's moving to the right now it's going down to the left it's going up to the right at its highest spot that little hash mark is at 12 o'clock. That's what we want. So turn both of them so that that mark is at 12 o'clock. That's going to make things a little easier. It lets us move the camshaft around so that we can get the cam end cap on. Okay. Uh, so if we take the cam end cap and we push it on here, we might be able to get it, we might be able to get some of it, uh, but I'm not going to go that route. First of all, get the gasket, because we are probably not going to be taking this cam end cover back off again. So the gasket for this on the common motor gasket diagram. It is called the camshaft end cover. And I had it out here a moment ago. Here we go. There are two and they are identical. These guys. They are the same. Keep the other one handy. So if I put this on here and hold it, and I focus on centering the rubber O-rings in these two large circles, if I look at the other holes with the threads, the screw holes, they don't really line up too well. So I'm gonna try and flip it around and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it makes a great difference. All these, all four of these screw holes are now pretty easily accessible. Uh, one other thing, when we took the camshaft off, you may have come across this little spacer, washer, uh, not even totally sure what it's called, but if you did, if you do have that in a bag, put it back on. Put it right in there. Okay. Uh, this is not going to go on very easily right now because the cam lobes are closer to the top than, than we would like them to be. So push up on the camshaft so that it applies some tension and rotate your 14 millimeter bolt on the alternator and rotate it until the cam lobes, the tall part, goes all the way over and down and there's tons of room for these rocker arms to move around. So I'm holding it up, rotating it. Oh wait, nope. Let's back that up a little bit. I think it's better if we actually put this on as far as we can. So I'm pushing it on a little bit and I'm smacking it. Uh, but I'm, oh, I'm able to get it all the way on. 
that's kind of surprising. If you can't get it all the way on, so if, if this was as far as I could get it, I would rotate the 14 millimeter bolt on the alternator and I would do that until I had some, why can't I keep this thing in focus? This is killing me. I would rotate it until the cam lobes had kind of risen and fallen. I would turn it and, and then it, there's a point where it's kind of fighting you, it's fighting you, and then all of a sudden it's really easy. And at that point, you turn a little bit further and these two rocker arms are very loose. It makes life way easier. And then this cam end cover goes on much easier. And if you need to use your persuader to tap it into place, do that. Just remember, don't tap the middle because the middle is the camshaft. We need to tap the, the actual cover. And I'm noticing some metal dust in the threads of these rocker arm shafts. So if you see that as well, just take your brush and kind of brush those away. Hopefully your gasket didn't get too out of whack. If you look in here, if you look in those four holes, you should not really see much gasket blocking those holes. If you do, it's going to be uh, difficult to get the screws in later. So you'll have to like back this out a tiny bit and take a pick and move the gasket around a little bit. Put the pick in to the hole and make sure that it's pretty clear for the screw to go in and then get that on. Once you have that on, it's time to take this side off. So let me put the camera on that side. So at this point, I'm going to try, oh yeah, this is going to come off nice and easy. Great. So we need rocker arm shafts and rocker arms. And these rocker arm shafts also have O-rings that need to be replaced. So in that little tiny Ziploc that was in the gasket kit that had the rubber O-rings for these rocker shafts, same on these. So take these off and replace them with the new ones. Rocker arm. Remember the flat area? This one's pretty crappy looking, but we're going to go with it. Flat area is touching the camshaft. This smaller end goes on top of the valve spring.
Come on. Okay, I'm having trouble getting my other rocker arm on. And I can tell you right now, it's because this cam lobe is facing almost all the way up. So I'm going to take these back out. I'm going to put this cover back on. Not going on as easily as it came off. There we go. I'm going to take my 14 millimeter wrench and I am going to rotate the engine until these cam lobes are not pointing up. So I'm going to go right there. Let's see if this comes off. Yep, this comes off just as easily as it did before. Rocker arm, rocker arm shaft spins nicely. Rocker arm, rocker arm shaft spins nicely. We need to do the same thing we did on the other side. We need these hash marks on the ends of the rocker arm shafts to be pointing up. 12 o'clock, here and here. You need the other gasket. So again, hold it up, center the rubber O-rings in the larger circles on the gasket, and see if these four holes match up. Uh, they do not on this one. So I'm going to take this off, flip it around, see if that helps, and it definitely does. I'm going to take my last end cap and see if I can get this sucker on here. There's a good chance that it won't. There's a good chance it's going to fight me. Yeah. Uh, this is where... This is kind of frustrating. So I'm going to start tapping the center of this thing and hopefully it finds its home. Yes, good. Don't be afraid to hit it kind of hard. Like, if it's not moving, hit it a little bit harder. If it's still not moving, hit it a little bit harder. If you feel like you're wailing on it, then that's not good. Okay. You have both end caps on. That is a huge step. This side came off a little. Tapping that back on. And then in the center, uh, if you see any little metal shavings on the threads of these rocker arm shafts, brush them off. And now we can start putting the things back together in here. So you have, on the right side, it's very simple to put together. You have four screws, two washers, and two nuts.
to assume that, so I've got one bag that I labeled left side cam end cover. So I'm assuming I've got one that says right side cam end cover around here somewhere. Killing me. Why do I have to do this to myself? Okay, I'm going to assume this is it. Right side camp cover. Yeah, okay. So in my bag for the right side cam cover, I've got this nice shiny chrome thingy. I've got four screws, actually five. There's one, this little guy, that's gonna end up going in the dead center. I've got these two nuts and these two washers. So washers go on the rocker arm shafts. Nuts go here. And don't tighten the nuts yet. Just barely turn them until they stop. And put these four screws into the side cover. And if they don't seem to want to go in very easily, then there's a chance that the gasket is not centered anymore and part of that gasket material is hanging over the hole and you can't get the screw in. If that's the case, you need to pull this off, like, I mean, just a tiny bit so that you can take your screwdriver and push it into the hole and kind of force that gasket to move around until it's not blocking the screw hole. So I'm putting all four in. I'm not tightening any of them yet. Okay, I've got all four in. Now I'm going to tighten them. And I'm going to tighten them evenly. So none of them are super tight yet. turning them until they won't turn anymore. Uh, the left side is similar. four screws and then we have two washers and two nuts here we have a bunch of other stuff lots of stuff goes in this side right now we're only worrying about four screws two nuts two washers so one two three four screws two Washers, two nuts. Now in this bag, 
there are, make sure that the four screws you get out are all the same length. Because there, are, there might be, or there should be, another two screws in there that are a little shorter. And they also have their own washers. And those washers are a little smaller. So all four of these screws should be the same length. And these two nuts have the same size washers. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the washers on. And you should finger tight these nuts until they just stop turning and don't make them any tighter. And then put all four screws in. Don't tighten any of them until you have all four of them in. each one a little tighter and then turn each until it doesn't turn anymore. Okay. We are going to kill it right there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is adjust the valves, and that's going to take a couple minutes. And I want to give you an opportunity to get to where we are exactly right here. So you should end today with all of the all four screws tight, two nuts, two washers, not tight, just. I mean, look at how when I stop. As soon as it stops turning, I stop turning it. Same on the right side. Turn it until it stops. Turn it until it stops. Both have washers, all four screws in. All rocker arms are in. And we are uh, on the home stretch. All right, later.